Hi guys, it's Rochelle from Monolane Furniture again in a stinking hot Sydney. Absolutely vile. We're in the middle of a heat wave and I can feel it. But I'm still going to give this right a shot. If I don't, I'm just going to chicken out and it's going to be a different colour. So I've got the paint, I've got all everything I need. I'm hitting it. Let's Right, right. so yesterday I treated myself to this little Azito detail sander. Um, it's got a catcher on, which is better than the old one that I had. It's a higher wattage as well, I think this is 200 maybe. And this was only 30 bucks and it came with 20 of the pads from Bunnings. I then looked at, at eBay afterwards to see if I could get the pads, they're cheaper. And they were selling them on there, for some people were selling them for like $85 for the same set crazy anyway you can see the top's been sanded already by the previous owner who was thinking about um upcycling them so i don't need to do that at this stage all i need to do now is to um scuff sand all the way around and then i'm going to go on with some primer um so i've got a 120 grit on here and um, let's see how she goes That's actually a really nice little sander. It's more powerful than my other one, um, which is good. I think my other one, I think it might have said 105 watt on it, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, that was good. For 30 bucks, you can't go wrong. Um, right, so now I'm just gonna clean this with white lightning, um, which I believe is TSP. Do your own research on that. Uh, I had to go um, do a bit more than just a scuff sand in these areas, because there was some flaking um, finish on it. You don't want to be painting over flaking finish. And I'm using my old Dundies today for a little treat. And everyone knows that I hate painting white. And I really work myself up to painting this white. And Ursula, who's always full of so many tips for me, is trying to talk me into doing a different colour. I'm teetering on the edge here, guys. I need to do white. I still don't know what I'm going to do with this detail in them. Because it's inset rather than raised. I don't know. I think I'm going to go and have a look at that shabby guy on YouTube. If you haven't already been to that channel, highly recommend it. It's really good and Ursula recommended that one too. Really good. He uses a spray gun, which I haven't ventured into yet. I'm thinking about it. I think the one he uses, or one of them, is called a Wagner, something about a 5000, something or other. I know I've emailed it to myself to have a look. So, as soon as this is dry, oh, it's all got falling off these wheels already. As soon as this is dry, I'm going in with my primer. And I'll talk you through what prime, the products that I'm using and why I'm using them. Basically, anything that I'm using in this project is to try and make me love white. So really, in order to do that, it needs to be something that's time, saves me time. That's what I don't like about the white. I think the monotony of it. You don't really see anything emerging. It, for me, I don't anyway, because it's just white on white on white. I knew that was gonna happen. This is so heavy. Um, and there's so many coats, so I just get bored easily. Right, so I'm gonna wait for this to dry, and then I'll come back and show you what I'm gonna be using. Right, priming time. This is what I'm using. It's Dulux Precision, Preci Precision 
surface preparation, stain, smoke and odour blocker, um, fast drying shellac primer. Um, I actually went to Bunnings to get the Binzinza version of that, they didn't have any. And this is actually more expensive, so I think this was about maybe $22.50, something like that, for this tin, um, this can, and um, bin shellac was about oh, maybe a dollar cheaper or something like that, they didn't have it. So I'm doing it this way, literally just to save time, oh, I'm sweating man, literally just to save time. So in terms of um, a financial decision, this isn't a good financial decision. I'm hoping if it's cost like $22, if I can get four or five pieces out of this, then it's not so bad, maybe five bucks a pop, then it's not so bad. So if this saves me time, I'm, I'm sold. I'm gonna attach the Krylon um, trigger so that it's a more natural process, I hope. Um, so if you haven't seen before, that just attaches onto there. Like so and then you press that and it depresses the button there so you're spraying almost like a regular uh, paint sprayer so um, this is a better financial decision so I've seen on the on the US uh, YouTube channels and Canadian etc that they've got these little plastic things that they take take right there then they pull it down um, I haven't seen those here but um, I just thought this is a better just as good so I'm just taking a bag on there and that's literally just to protect it from any overflow of the spray. I hope. This is all new. I'm saying as if I know what I'm doing. You know I don't. So, let's read the instructions. Nice change. I'm going to read them though on this. Because I don't want to mess it up. This is my one chance to love painting white. Preparation. Surface should be clean and dry. Free from grease and dirt. Okay, done. Before spraying, protect all adjoining furniture from overspray, spray the, shake the can well for at least one minute after the ball starts moving before use and regularly during use. Lower temperatures and high humidity, humidity will slow the drying process. Okay, hold can upright, 15 to 25 centimeters from surface, spray vertically with smooth, even strokes parallel to the surface. Apply several light mist coats, wet on wet, rather than one heavy coat which may cause paint dripping or sagging. Okay, so now I need a shake. You don't need to watch me do that, do you? Okay, in terms of cost, that hasn't finished these two bedsides. I've just run out and I've got, hang on. I've got that side of the bedside to do. And it's empty. It's gone. So, the product seems to be good um, in terms of cost that's not a good way to go um if i could find this cheaper or if, if anyone knows of an alternative i love the spraying so i am gonna continue to look for that something like that i definitely want to be spraying and I'm, I'm actually might look now after this i might look at that wagner 
5,000 or something like that. It was called 5,000 I, something like that. Um, but I do like this. Now I just need to give it a little sand over. Um, I've got some other stain blocker that I'll just do on that edge there. Yeah, that's a bit annoying. I was hoping I'd get more out of it. But there you go. I was warned. That's annoying. It was going so well. Right, so here it is now. It's dry. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's a little bit of stippling in it. So what I'm going to do now is just go over it with um, a 240 grit sandpaper. Just literally just skim it over it, and that'll just take off this little bit of roughness. And then we'll be good to go. I'm actually really happy with that. Um, obviously, I'll learn as I go with this one. But, um, yeah, I'm happy with that. So, yeah, you can see. I don't know how much you can see with this phone. But it's just a little bit rough. So, a quick sand, actually. You can feel it. It sort of comes. That, um, yeah, there's bits coming off as I'm doing that. It's literally just dry bits. I may be enjoying white more guys I may be it's time to start painting in white right so I've done a really smooth sand oh hang on I missed a bit here literally that's all I'm doing over and all it's doing is taking off a little rough the little roughness and then it's smooth as a baby's bum this is actually um, 600 grit it's not doing anything um, a brown paper bag would work in much the same way and some people do use that right so now i'm going in with the paint and after all of the feedback i got from lots of you i'm trying dixie bell silk white cap um a lot of the feedback i've seen says um two sometimes three coats some even haven't used a primer now i i wouldn't do that with white because you don't want to risk bleed through and then I'm to sort of pretty much start again by going back to primer. Teeth. So let's see. So far, this has been fine. I haven't it hasn't bothered me doing that at all. I would say that equates to two coats of primer. One tin. What an expensive tin. Right, so this is a nice, quite a warm white. I don't know if you can appreciate that. Right, I'm going to use my 035 Klingon and let's have a look. Let's see how we go. So yeah, I basically asked everyone for their feedback on their, fa their favourite whites in the groups and obviously on the YouTube channel. And um, okay, I'm already... I think I'm already on board here. Oh. oh, please let it be true. This is going to be two coats. I just know it. Right, I'll let you watch me do these. This one side. Oh guys, I am excited. If you haven't tried Dixie Belt Silk White Cap, please give it a go. I've used their other colours and the coverage has been great. I just haven't tried white. Well, because I hate white. I did hate white. Look at this. Thank you everyone for recommending this. Um, I'm so, I'm so happy right now. You wouldn't believe it. So any Dixie Bell stockists would have this. There's plenty around Australia. Um, I usually buy mine from Capriol Shabby Chic. Um, I got this one from um, Home of Serenity in Oran Park. They got a storefront and I was down there yesterday. So in the interest of having no patience and not wanting to wait for a delivery um, because I wanted to do it today. Then I went and got it, and I've bought, I've bought from them before as well. They're lovely. So uh, yeah, just have a look on your. I guess it'd be on the Dixie Bell website. I don't know where the stockies are. I just know where they are. This is absolutely awesome coverage, guys. Look, can you see that? Have you ever seen me excited about white? 
I've never seen you excited about white. This is just going to be two coats. It's just like normal painting. It's not like, oh my God, I've got to do another. Like I said, this, I would say that spray equates to um, two coats, two primer coats. Oh, yeah, maybe one actually. No, I'm going to go out on a limb and say one. It feels really thick over it too. I'm going to go over that bit there. That's still almost co awful coverage. If you've used white cap before, I was going to say post co post photos in the comments. So I'd like to see them, but you can't do that on YouTube, can you? It's really frustrating. But if you want me to add some photos to YouTube of your work, then send them in to me through Facebook or Insta or whatever. Email. I'm happy to showcase your work if you want me to. I only have this one to showcase on mine in the um, white cap, so it'd be nice to have some others later down the line. This feels really thick going on. I think it's because the surface, that primer has given it a really good um, base to adhere to. So it feels really thick going on. It's actually a really stinking hot day too, to be fair. So it's probably drying as I'm doing it. Oh, this is really good. Right, so I'm just going to carry on doing this. You don't need to watch me do all this. And um, I'll come back when I've done two coats and I'm hoping that's it. Please let it be it. I'm just going to focus on getting this one finished for this video. Because I'm probably just going to go and buy another can actually of the um, the spray primer. Because I liked it and I want to make sure that it's, it's um, the same all the way around. I'm a bit funny like that. So um, I'll just focus on getting this one finished for today. Okay, I'll be back. Right, I'm just going on with the next coat, which is going to be the final coat. Fantastic. And because it's a really hot day, I just wanted to show you how I work with these mineral paints. And I've only ever had this issue with Dixie Belle and um, Fusion because it's got a relatively short work time. So I do spray and that's not reactivating it. That's not keeping it active. It won't activate the paint that's underneath. All that it does is just give you a little bit more work time. So not much just a little mist and generally only on the final coat but it'll reduce brush strokes um, and it'll just give you that better work time so I do that not always but just on these hot days um, it's probably not recommended that you do but let's be honest I sort of do my own thing a lot of the time but this is what I do all it's doing is um, giving me that little bit extra work time otherwise it dry it can dry really quick and we, you know we're on a 40 degree day here now so I'm not painting in ideal painting conditions so this is just gonna help me get the best of it I think it's probably not recommended because of the built-in top coat and it might have an impact on the result of that but I've never seen that as a problem I always do this if I'm painting the surface of a piece rather than staining, I always do this because that's where you really need it to have minimal strokes, brush strokes. So I always do that and I've never had a drama. Anyway, just thought I'd pass that on to you. Hi, this is Future Rochelle here. I'm just editing the video and I realised that I didn't mention before I started using this that I found that other tin of um, primer in the shed that I forgot that I had. So so that this makes sense that's what it is it's an oil based one but um yeah hopefully this makes sense now okay facing the right way give it a good shake she feels like it's got more in to start with than the other one did mask on checking then it's, it is white <laughs> right ah that's got a better spray this is spraying vertically look more like a regular um, paint sprayer so you're getting more coverage it's more toxic though, I can smell it. 
Definitely need a mask, definitely needs to be outside. So this will be oil based. I do like that though, the the spray, it's much better. Yep, here we are guys. Right, so the painting's finished on the one. Um, I'm going to leave the other one um, 24, 48 hours because it's got that oil-based primer on it now. So I'm not going to paint over it with a water base until that's ready. So I'm just going to focus on this one, like I said. So the paint, um, I'd say the primer was equivalent to one coat primer. And the paint, I've done two and a half coats. I'm stoked. I'm absolutely stoked. So now this battery is about to die. I hope I have time. Now I'm just going to sand this. And I'm going to add some top coat and no, a stain and top coat, and then we're done. Right, let's see if I can get this stain on without throwing it everywhere. You can only hope. Right, so I'm going with Carts and Millie again. This time in the colour Shed Door. Haven't used this before. Um, I actually quite like the contrast between these, these two. So this is the natural wood, which has got a little bit of red in it. Um, I don't want to whitewash it because I do like that contrast. Jesus, smooth as a baby's bum now. That was just with a 240 grit paper. That's great. Okay. Give this a shake. I'm using the Dixie Bell sponge. Ooh. Right. Oh, I like that already. Right, I have to be careful there. So if I get any on the edges, I'll just go around with touch up afterwards. Oh, which I'm doing there. I still won't paint. Yeah, I'm gonna have to touch up because this lip is very low. Usually the lip is a little bit higher, but because the lip is very low, I'm Getting it on the edges. Let me get a baby wipe on the cloth. Because the paint is quite matte, then it's, um, it's not so easy to wipe off. So, but it's not going to be a drama. I can just touch that up. This is a really nice colour. I like this. It's bringing out the natural tones in the colour, but then. Also throw in some brown into it, which is nice. Really nice, actually. What colour would you say that is like? So in hindsight, because it is a small lip, um, your best bet would be to tape around that. I don't usually, you will have seen before, but usually that lip is just a little bit higher. but it's going to be an easy touch up so it's not really something I'm bothered about yeah so this was oh, I love that colour this was um, say one coat of primer two and a half coats of the paint and I'd say two and a half only because I because it's a really hot day so I was using the mister which obviously in effect just waters it down a little bit so um yeah, that's why it was two and a half, otherwise it would have been two. So, uh, it's quite a matte finish. So you could add a top coat if you wanted. I'm not going to on this occasion. I quite like it. But I will around this lip once I fix it up. Which I'm gonna do now while you're watching. How easy it'll be.
So I'm just using the same brush as I've used to paint it all. And because it's got that edge, it's just really easy to just go around it. I really like doing these tops. I think they're really effective. And it's a really nice clean look. And it looks like you've put in so much extra work to, uh, to get the look, but you really haven't. Not difficult to achieve. I'm really happy. That top is beautiful. I wonder what colour it would look like just on a pine. I guess I shall try. So, the outcome of this little experiment, which is what it was for me, is that this hasn't felt, found, felt any different than a regular paint job would. It hasn't scared me off. I haven't dreaded it. So that is a massive win. And if the customer came, whoever buys this, if they say they would like the drawers to match, I'd be stoked. I'd be happy to paint it. So in my opinion, this paint is a win. There's not many that you can get really good coverage so I really really appreciate everyone's feedback on this guys because honestly it was costing me money avoiding all these white jobs so I'll let, I'll let this dry then I'll do another coat on this to cover these patches like I said um, the best option for this would have been for me to tape it but I don't usually need to but um, it would have been the best option what do you think? Do you like those colours together? I really do. I'm putting the draw, the draw pulls are going back on. I'm dripping, I'm sweating. The draw pulls are going back on as they were. They're in really good condition. I like the colour. Right, let me get away from this before I sweat all over it. So, next time you'll see, I'm going to add clear top coat. I'll show you the one I'm going to use. It's my usual one. I'll just grab that. So it's the Carts and Millie Boutique Satin Top Coat again. It's dry already, I'm sorry. No, right. I'll just wait a few minutes then put that on. Next time you see this, she'll be all stage ready to go. Here she is guys, all ready for photos. I'm so pleased that I actually enjoyed doing this one. The spray definitely helped, the, the spray um, primer definitely helped. But obviously it's not a cost effective option, but it might be what I need to do in order to enjoy doing white. So just have to factor that in. So just as a reminder, the body is Dixie Belle white cap, Dixie Belle silk white cap. I haven't touched the hardware. The top is Cats and Millie. Oh, hang on, something shed shed door shed door and then it's the carts and millie top coat on top of that so i put it on with the the top coat i put it on with the dixie bell sponge like i always do and i actually went over the body with it as well i literally just wipe it down with it as if i'm just giving it a quick clean so um so i would say that is one coat of primer um two and a half coats of paint and then a top coat and the coverage is beautiful I'm really happy so white cap for me is a winner I will no longer shy away from whites what do you think guys do you like it look at the state of me that's not even paint or stain that's a milkshake I just spilled my milkshake on me so if you found this useful please like and subscribe if you didn't that's okay. I'm just trying. Um, I'm learning so much from the comments on, on these videos. You know, I, I don't really see this as me trying to educate you. It's more a case of you educating me in most, most uh, instances with the comments that I'm getting. So I really appreciate it. I love the interactivity in there. I love that you're all chatting to each other. So um, keep it up, guys. And time for me to get some photos.